there once was an object named Sina. As the world around him buzzed with changes, as his friends tried to give him gifts and things, or girlfriends tried to change him, he was happy just the way he was. He would simply smile and say, No, thank you. I'm fine the way I am. He lived free from the uncertainty of mutable data. His identity was simple. It was defined once at creation and never altered by the dynamic landscape that is the junior developer. Or even worse, the reckless senior developer. As his loyal friends made of arrays and objects changed their minds, he was safe from accidental modifications. There was a secret to his unchanging nature, a small detail that set him apart from mutable variables. And that's because he was a constant. There's a const right in front of his name. You see it? It's right there. This is fun. Let's do some more. <clears throat> he believed that stability was for the sake of clarity. When you know who you are, he would say, you don't have to second guess your purpose. Immutability is my way of protecting intent. Think about how that applies to code, protecting intent. Are you getting it? He watched as others around him scrambled to fix bugs caused by unexpected side effects or silent mutations, I don't know, scope creep, changing requirements, all that sort of stuff. But he offered a different path, a path where predictability triumphs over complexity. Change isn't bad, he would say, but unintended change is dangerous. I choose to stay constant so others can build on me with confidence. If you want to change me, he stood firm. You'll have to make a copy. And so that's exactly what they did. They used the spread operator or object.assign or even structured clone, which I just learned about, to create new versions of him. These versions looked a lot like him, acted a lot like him, but carried all these new properties that people needed. It was cool. He didn't mind. In fact, he welcomed it. Make all the changes you want. Just don't touch the original. Okay? Okay. And so in a world that praised flexibility and fast iteration for some reason, he stood as a quiet reminder that sometimes the greatest strength lies in knowing when and what not to change. We can choose to defy the impermanence of life when it makes sense using immutability, my friends. I hope you enjoy that. Story hour is over. Get out your keyboards. This is episode 20, Immutability.